Hi, I'm Paula from Paula Pizza Planet and I'm going to be showing what is an RV trip. So this is my first one. So this video is for beginners only, just like me. Um, I didn't know much what to expect, so I learned a lot during this trip and I would like to share some of the basic, basic things. So come with me. So I rented a Cruise America. So this is a 25 feet long. Um, actually is for five people, um, but it accommodates very comfortable, two people and two dogs. So welcome to my house. So here's the driving area. It sits comfortable, the driver, and someone next to the driver has a nice view. Here on top, uh, this area becomes a double bed. Uh, so you can bring the, the mattress here and becomes like a comfortable bed for two people, maybe. Because we don't have more people with us, so this became like a, a area that we can put our luggage so we don't need to storage underneath because it's too cold to go back and forth trying to get access to your things so nice area to accommodate your things so here's the dining room uh, this is another area that can become a bed so if you take the table down very easily and uh, unfold this uh, sofa, it becomes a bed for another person, maybe a child. Uh, it's pretty small, but it can make it happen. So the whole RV has storage all over it. So uh, I'm amazed actually with the amount of things that you can fit inside. So here, uh, for example, we put our uh, equipment, electronic equipment, computer, photography, drone, and everything else. Here, I storage things for the dogs, so it's everything very neat and organized. And then if you have a third or a fourth person sitting here, so one person can be seated here, there's a seat belt, and the sofas have the seat belt as well. So here's a little kitchen where the magic happens. So I have been cooking dinner every night, especially because uh, we are traveling during the pandemic, so I'm not going to restaurants, I'm not eating out, and this kitchen is great. It has everything that you need, so it comes with a microwave, it comes with a stove, a gas stove, um, and then you have some other compartments where you can storage your food, a good size sink, um, then more storage here. Uh, the refrigerator size actually was very surprised in a good way. Uh, it's a like very good size. Uh, so you can storage food for a couple of days here. And also you have a freezer here, which is very good. Okay, so here is a closet uh, where you can put your coats, all the things that you need, like easy access. Uh, some more storage for clothes here. Uh, the bed, which you have this curtain for more privacy if you need it. And again, storage all over so you can put like your shoes, your, uh, your other pieces of clothes that you cannot put in the closet. Then you have this little area here, which is very useful. Uh, so you can Put some of your things here for a shower, shampoo, condition, and makeup stuff. Um, and then we have a very good size bathroom. I consider very good size. I'm a short person, so a full shower and and the toilet, which is I think is a luxury to have a bathroom in your car while you're driving and you don't have to stop on the side of the road and pray that you can find a clean bathroom to use. So this is an RV very simple one um, we have been doing this trip for a little bit over two weeks now and I'm loving it is comfortable uh, is safe um, you can easily cook your meals um, very good night's sleep and uh, I really recommend it so a couple of things that I recommend if you're doing your first RV trip um, so I didn't know almost anything about an RV trip, so I learned 
as I go and some of the things that I recommend to have. So first item is a portable uh, heater. So this one you can buy at Walmart or Target. Uh, the reason is because you're going to need a heater if you're traveling to a cold area. And then there is a heater system on the RV as well as uh, AC, um, but you don't use propane. And this one is like a, actually a little fireplace, so it's a cozy environment and it really warms up the whole RV. So another one is make sure that you bring your dishes. Um, here are some things for my dogs as well. And pack everything in plastic or silicone because if you bring any glass or anything uh, that can break, uh, it will break during the trip because things move a lot around. Uh, one thing that I invested that I really recommend for an RV trip uh, is a Ninja Foodie. So this one is, it makes um, eight in one. So it basically it's an air fryer, roaster, uh, it grills, yeah, it can do a lot of things. So I have been cooking every day uh, gourmet meals on this pan. So it doesn't took a lot of space um, and is really, really useful and recommend to have one. And another item is I rented a very basic RV. It doesn't have a TV. If that is the case for you as well, I brought my my big monitor here with me. So at night, I just connect my computer, play some movies, nice and cozy in my bed. So these are some of the things that I learned during this trip that I'd like to share for your first RV trip. Thank you. So now a little bit of a tour from the outside and how the RV works. So here we are at the RV park. Um, and it's where you're going to be spending the night, uh, make a reservation, um, and then here is the electricity. Uh, so as soon as you park, you're going to have a designated area for you with a number, and then you have access to the electricity that the RV camp provides to you. So you connect it here at night, and you have full uh, power on all the outlets, the microwave, if you're not connected and you need to use the electricity, you can use the generator that this RV has it. Um, another thing is the, the city water. So the RV camp also provides you with the city water. So you can connect your uh, ho uh, ro uh, holes here and then you're going to have water running to your RV and all the sinks uh, shower and toilet um, and then we go to the oh another thing that we have is the waste water from the bathroom so every couple of days depends on how much you use your bathroom you have to clean it up so the RV camp also provides that to you so you just hook up here and clean it and then it's ready to continue using it again on the other side now And then here, one last thing is the water tank fuel. So if you're not connected with the water that comes on the RV camp, you can refill your tank and you're going to have water uh, while you're driving or when you're not connected to the, the water, the city water. And this is wonderful storage. So if you're carrying a lot of things, luggages and uh, additional food and whatever it is, look how much space you have under the van. So it's not our case. Uh, we pack very light. Um, we are like backpackers kind of travelers. So we can carry everything that we need inside a backpack and keep inside with us. But if you need more storage, this thing offers amazing storage for everybody to put whatever you want to bring with you. And this is the RV. So it's very safe. Um, and again, like you have to make a reservation, they're going to give you a number, you have a designated area for you with all the plugins that you need. Uh, and then right there, uh, you have a full laundry that works 24 hours, and you have a full bathroom as well. So if you opt to not use your bathroom uh, or not taking a shower inside the RV, you can use, uh, is included on the price as well. So full hookup, uh, full access to bathroom, shower, hot water, clean bathrooms, 
uh, in laundry, uh, dog park, which is wonderful, playground for kids, there's pool that you can use in the summertime. Uh, so the RV camps are incredible. They offer a lot of things and it's very safe. So this is the RV trip from Paula Pisa Planet. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.